guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at how we can assign different effects and parameters within the Tone Studio program. I had a question about how you could connect your Boss FS7 foot switch and make that work in order to set up assigns here. So we're going to take a look at that and in the beginning of this video I'll have some pictures and an explanation on how you can easily connect your FS7 to your GT1. So let's just go ahead and take a look at what we have going on here. This is the signal chain and whenever you press one of these icons here you will be able to adjust its type of effects and its parameters. At the moment I've just set up a plain patch with a clean uh, preamp as well as some uh, reverb here. But let's go to the CTL EXP tab over here and on top here you will see a lot of different um, foot switches and expression pedals as well as your six available signs and over here on your right you can see the up and down foot switches and you can change their um, functions as well but let's start over here at the left side you have the c to the one and you can set its function to all of those effects right here you won't be able to specify what it will have to do you can only set this one to toggle on off these effect blocks here and if you wish to go more in depth you can always go over to the assigns here which we'll take a look at in a moment by default the CTL1 is set to preamp solo and this is for using the preamps in the GT1 just to kick in a little bit of a boost and some EQ uh, frequencies as well but at the moment let's just say that we want the CTL1 to kick in the effects one uh, and we want the source mode to be toggle meaning that one press is on and another is off and moment which is momentary means that as long as you press the pedal the effects will be engaged so at the moment we have the CTL1 to turn on the effects block 1 here and if we wish to select the effect that we wanted to activate we have to go back to the pedal setting here and we have to press the block and right now it's set to activate a compressor. If we want anything else, we'll have to go down through the menu and set it to some something else here. And once we kick in the CTL1, it will now activate a phaser. So it's kind of that symbol. Um, if we go back here, if we want another effect to be activated while we press the CTL1, we need to go to our first available sign. And we're going to start by turning it on make sure the source is set to the corresponding foot switch which you want to assign to and set the source mode to which of the two modes you need and your target category here is the effect or parameter in which you want to assign so let's just say that this time we want to activate an overdrive or distortion pedal the target in this case is going to be turning that overdrive and distortion section on or off we could also go in and have it switch between two types of overdrives, uh, adjust the drive, the bottom, the tone, or the effects level, as well as the, as well as the uh, direct level here. But we just want to toggle an overdrive or distortion pedal on and off. And the minimum target is off because we want it to activate. And the maximum target is on because that's the target we'll get once we press the foot switch. Okay. So right now we have those two set up and if you wish to add more effects to the CTL1 go ahead and use one of the remaining assigns here. But if you want to use CTL2, CTL3 this is where the FS7 foot switch comes in handy because it will give you those two extra foot switches. And by default these are set to off and they function the same way as the CTL1 parameter over here it will be able to turn on um, different blocks and not specific parameters but as mentioned we can take care of that over here let's just say that we want our CTL2 in this case on the FS7 to turn on the FX2 but we want something different as well so we have to change the source mode from CTL1 to CTL2 set your source mode again and your target category is time. Let's just say that we want it to activate a delay as well. 
So we choose the delay. We just want to toggle it on and off. And as long as your targets are set to on off, you will have to go back into the pedal section here. And for the delay, for example, you have to go in and set this up like you normally would on your regular stump box. And when you go back in here, if you, if you have set it to the type, for example, you would still go back here to the delay, set up the first type of effect, for example, the modulated and set it up to sound the way you want it to. Then you could always, if we just change it here, have to remember that your minimum target is the effect that you're on and that was modulate. The max target is the delay in this case that we want to change to. So we could change from the modulate to the tape. And once this is set up and um, activated, once you press the B side of the FS7, this will engage and the delay will change from modulate to tape. So just to recap here before we go any further, if I now press the CTL one, remember it will turn on effects one here but it will also turn on the overdrive distortion section. So you can't see this, but take my word for it. When I press the CTL1 button now, you should see that these two are coming on and they just did. So this gives us a phaser and a treble boost. And you can go in and adjust these and set them up to activate which of these overdrives and distortion that you need. If I press it back out again, it will just take those effects out. And remember for the CTL2, we had to turn on the FX2 and we had to change the delay type from modulate to tape. But we've not set up an assign yet to turn on the delay. So let's just do that for the simplicity here. Set it to CTL2, go down here and set up that target delay on and off. Okay, and make sure to activate it. We go back here and now when I press the B side of the FS7, you'll see that FX2 and delay comes on and it has now switched from modulated to tape. And if I take out the B side of the FS7, you see that we're right back to modulate. Okay. We have our last parameter over here, the CTL3, and it functions the exact same way. Let's say that CTL3 is going to be our a solo or lead boost. And if you're using the overdrive distortion block here within the GT1, you can use the OD solo to get a boost just like the preamp solo here. So let's assign that to CTL3. You get the option of adjusting the solo level um, if you need more boost, for example. But let's activate assign number four, set that to CTL3. And let's say that for that, we want to change the overdrive distortion type from the treble boost that we currently have activated on the CTL1. We'll go down here and we'll select type. Remember, the minimum target is the overdrive or distortion that we are currently using. And that is the treble boost. The maximum is the desired pedal you want to switch to. So let's take the tube screamer. Okay, and the assign is now on. When I press CTL1 here, you'll see the effects be engaged again. If we go back here to check the overdrive, we're now at the treble boost. If I press the A side of the FS7 now, you'll see this one change to the T screen. Just like that, it did. Okay. And these are the assigns that we have set up and the way we go about it. So this is quite easy and quite handy. You can do this as well on the GT1 itself, but I just sometimes find it easier to show it right here because a lot of people ask about the, the Tone Studio program. So this is a neat way of having things laid out in order for you to go through them and have a good look at the parameters and the different assigns here. And we still have two assigns left. So if you wish to do more than that, for example, we can do that. We could, let's just do another thing here. Let's just say that on CTL2, we would take a look at the preamp, but we like to adjust the type of the preamp. Remember, we had the clean twin going as a minimum target. Let's say we wanted to change that to a more distorted 
uh, preamp model. So we wanted to change to the 5150 drive, for example. Turn it on, but as well as that, we want to change the amount of gain that we have on the preamp that we're changing to here. Turn on that assign, select CTL2, find the preamp once again. Your target this time is the gain parameter and our minimum target is by default 50. Let's just say that we want to take it up to 100 right here. Okay, so if we go back to the pedal screen, we go into the overdrive distortion. Once we press the B side CTL2 here on the FS7, you'll see things are changing. Right, 5150 drive. It took the gain from 50 all the way up to 100. If I press it back out again, we're right back to the clean twin. Okay, so this is an easy and simple way to get the most out of your GT1 and its onboard effects. And you can customize and set up these assigns to do whatever you need them to. Small adjustments in EQ or frequencies, activate individual effects, solo boost, delays, anything in that order. And it's something that I use every time I set off patches on, uh, on my GT1 here. So thanks for watching, guys. I will be back with more videos soon. And um, in the meantime, leave me some comments, some likes, some shares and requests if you have some of those. And I'll be happy to answer any questions or comments. So just get at it and um, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thank you.